After laying out the exterior walls for the structure, the next thing we need to do is start to work on the foundation for the structure. Just as we did for the superstructure, we also need to create levels or horizontal datums in the foundation or the substructure. In order to do this, we will go back to our project browser and locate our elevations. Just as we did before, we will select our north elevation by double clicking. Here you should be able to see the levels that were created for the superstructure of the building. The first level we will create for our substructure of the building will locate the bottom of the foundation wall. The bottom of the foundation wall sits on what is called a footing. This element here is called a footing. This is where the bottom of our foundation wall will start at the top of the footing. To create our level for the top of footing, we will need to select our architecture tab. In the ribbon for the architecture tab, we will find the datum section of the ribbon. In the datum section, we will activate the levels command by clicking on it. So to activate the levels command, select it. We will bring our cursor into our drawing area below the grade level, which is here. We'll bring it below the grade level. Do one left mouse button click. Drag the mouse to the right, line it up with the bubbles for the grade level, and do a left mouse button click again. We will rename this level to say TOF. The acronym TOF stands for Top of Footing. We will name this level TOF and press enter. Would you like to rename corresponding views? We will select yes. Another level that will need to be created, we will need to identify the ceiling that is in the basement. So we will need to establish another level that is at the ceiling of the basement. The ceiling of the basement is directly above the top of footing level. So again, we will select our architecture tab in our datum section of the ribbon we will select the levels command. We'll bring the cursor into the drawing area, left mouse button click above the top of footing level. And drag it to the right and left mouse button click again. We will rename this level to say basement ceiling and press enter. Would you like to rename corresponding views? In this particular case, we will say no because we do not want to create a floor plan view for the basement for the ceiling. Another level we will need to identify is the top of the foundation wall. So this line here will indicate the top of our foundation wall.
the top of the foundation wall is located between the basement ceiling and the top of footing levels. So again, we select our architecture tab. In our datum section of the ribbon, we select the levels command. And we will place our top of foundation wall level between the basement ceiling and the top of footing. We will rename this to say top of foundation wall and press enter. Again, this is one that we do not want to create a floor plan view for the top of the foundation wall so we will say no. After creating the appropriate levels or horizontal datums, you will need to make sure that you put the appropriate distances between the levels. For the distance between the finished floor one and the top of footing, we will need to add the thickness of the subfloor, which is 3 fourths of an inch, plus the width of the floor joist, which is a two by eight floor joist. So the actual width of a two by eight floor joist is seven and one fourth of an inch. Plus the distance between the bottom of the joist and the basement floor is seven feet seven inches plus the thickness of the concrete floor is we're going to use four inches for this so this will take us to the top of the footing because the floor rests on the top of the footing. So this is the formula that will be used in order to determine the distance between the finished floor one and the top of footing. So to put the appropriate distance between the top of footing and the finished floor one in the north building elevation, we will go inside the drawing area and click on the top of footing level. You will need to make sure that when you select the top of footing level, there should be a temporary dimension that will appear. You will make sure by clicking and holding on the witness line or the bubble, you will take this up to the finished floor one and let the mouse button go. So this temporary dimension should go from finished floor one down to the top of footing level. Again, the way you do that is click and hold with the left mouse button on the witness line or the small circle that represents the witness line. Click and hold and drag the dimension up to, in this case, the finished floor one level and let go. I'm going to select the dimension and type in equals three fourths of an inch plus by seven and one fourth of an inch plus seven feet seven inches plus four inches. These are all the values that will be needed to establish the distance between the finished floor one and the top of footing. The three fourths represents the subfloor. The seven and one fourth represents the width of the two by eight floor joist. 
The seven feet seven inches is the dimension that was given from the bottom of the joist to the top of the concrete floor and the four inches is the thickness of the concrete floor. Press enter and that will give you the dimension, all those dimensions added up. You should notice or you may notice when you adjust the distance between the finished floor one and the top of footing then your top of foundation wall level is now below the top of footing. If this happens all you have to do is select it, click and hold, do a left mouse button, click and hold and move the level back above the top of footing. And I can do the same thing for the basement ceiling level. Just select it, then click and hold and move that level to an appropriate place. The next thing I want to do is lock the distance between the top of footing level and the finished floor one. Another way you can accomplish this is by going to your annotate tab and select in the dimension section of the ribbon, select the aligned dimension tool. You take your cursor and click on the top of footing level and the other end of the dimension will go to the finished floor one level. You can place this dimension and lock it. So this is another way that you can lock your distances between your horizontal datums or your levels. The next level we need to establish the vertical placement of is the level that identifies the ceiling of the basement. The ceiling of the basement can be found by adding the thickness of the subfloor which is three-fourths of an inch plus the width of the two by eight floor joist which is seven and one-fourth. So to calculate the distance between the finished floor one and the basement ceiling will be three-fourths of an inch plus seven and one-fourth of an inch. So in the north building elevation, in the north building elevation, I will select my basement ceiling level. Again the temporary dimension should appear. The temporary dimension I'm going to change is the one that is between the finished floor one and the basement ceiling. So I will select the dimension, type in equals, so I can put in the formula, three-fourths of an inch, which is the thickness of the subfloor, plus seven and one-fourth of an inch, which is the width of the two by eight floor joist. I press enter and that will establish the distance between the finished floor one and the basement ceiling. In order to lock that dimension, I will go to my annotate tab and select the aligned dimension tool. I will click on the finished floor one level and select the basement ceiling level. I will place that dimension and lock it. The distance between the basement ceiling and the top of the foundation wall can be determined by the 2x6 seal plate and the 4 inch solid cap block. 
So the two by six seal plate and the four inch solid cap block will establish the distance between the basement ceiling and the top of the foundation wall. The two by six seal plate, the height of that is actually one and one half of an inch plus the four inch cap block. That will give you the distance between the bottom or the basement ceiling and the top of the foundation wall. So to create the dimension between or the top of the foundation wall and the basement ceiling, I will select in the north building elevation the top of foundation wall level. Again, temporary dimensions will appear. I will make sure that I grab the bubble on the witness line and move it up to the basement ceiling level. I will select the dimension between the basement ceiling level and the top of the foundation wall level and type in equals one and one half an inch which represents the height of the seal plate plus four inches which represents the four inch solid cap block. Press enter. By going to annotate and align it goes from the basement ceiling level to the top of foundation wall level and lock that dimension.